What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Jack and Biz video. Hope everybody's doing very well. It's been a little while, but we're back at it again with another video. Sorry that it took so long, but we got some new stuff coming for you guys now. Uh, we have new events. We have the 10 Man Arena Play event, your Royal Boss event, your login has ended. You have your drag, you have your um, revenge event, so make sure you are playing this. So, therefore, you're getting rubies, you're getting your jewels. Everything that's displayed here is very important that you don't miss out. Two times fight event, PvP lovers, this is where you shine. Make sure you jump into the action. Make sure you're not missing out on any playtime, especially this week, because you have your two times daily exploration reward event. You don't want to miss out. And then we have our fortress battle event and then we have our trace event that we just got done with also very late to the party but we have our spring special gift that you get basically for a little while it won't be too long so you're getting so much free rubies for this especially for the new hero that's coming out soon i don't got her name yet but i do have pictures of her and obviously you have your packages and your starlight packages and stuff like that nothing too crazy but that's actually um very very most important there and then also the new heroes coming out in about 10 or so days or so so make sure you are saving up i have 40 packs here tons of rubies to spend i oh i forgot to hit this one here from yesterday <coughs> tons of uh fragment of memories here as well um she's mainly going to be used for pvp so i'm not sure if i'm even going to boost her really really high i have to see what she does but yes make sure you're saving up i'm saving up those some of things as well but yeah we have a lot getting ready for the new events katarina is also getting a new character being introduced into her story uh, i'm gonna wait till a buddy of mine brings some more information about that so i can post it in the video but um more stuff coming for katarina as well i'll keep you updated on that as well um far as patches and stuff go so tomorrow <laughs> that's my birthday tomorrow which is crazy so happy early birthday to me but we have the bingo event the odyssey a sale of coins times two which is very important this is a chance for you to get red gear your daily exploration event and plus your new shop and then this is what the new character looks like um i don't have her name yet um, she's going to be mainly using PvP, 10 man event, event, which is happening now, PvP, and more. Um, I'll try to get more information about that, but this is what my guy posted. So, that's basically what we're going to have on that. <laughs> and this is going to be, you know, a new information event. Plus, this is going to be what Third Strike or Heroes you should be making. Um, if you're starting off into the game, of course. Now, there's a lot of characters here. Um, I've used most of them. The very first friend right here, I call her Old Faithful. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you were hearing me say, well, I'm finna use Old Faithful when I'm getting new heroes. Um, she's put in probably the most work. Um, the best rogue I've used so far in this game, I've used most of the rogues. And um, this th this rogue is is extremely, extremely strong, in my opinion. In my opinion, take with a grain of salt. You can use whatever rogue you want. If you have a rogue that's better in your opinion, that's fine. This is just the one that's been working for me. Uh, I highly recommend making her and putting your time into her. She's also my first level 100 for a reason because she's just that good, in my opinion. Um, next, I put some time into her. I've enjoyed using this dual wielder quite a bit as well. Um, she does a lot of good work. Not missing too much, but you know, creatures do get a lot of invasion as you're going through the game and stuff like that. So it does make it harder for some of your characters to hit. But I've had really great battles, overcoming lots of things, getting stuck when it comes to her and my rogue. So I definitely, definitely enjoy making her, and I think you should make her as well. She's extremely good. Same with the archer. Um, I put a lot of time into her as well. Default level is 48. Put in a lot. She does a lot of damage. Overall, her um her limit break is really good too. Like these third strike heroes are, are very 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 good. Like just most of all of them are to be honest. But the ones I'm pointing out, 
is ones that you should make first. You can make whatever ones you want to make, but the ones I'm mentioning mostly are the ones that you should make. Uh, Paladin, extremely good. She heals you. She does great damage. She can uh, definitely um, support you with shields. Very, very, very good. I'm not going to break them all down. That's something that you should do because I want to talk about each character or the majority at least. But she's default level 56. So if I put a lot of time into them, it's for good reasons. So I would definitely highly recommend you make her as well. Definitely, definitely a really, really good paladin. As far as she goes, uh, she's a good mage. Um, I don't didn't use her too much. I don't really use mages that much anymore. I prefer to use high high output damage dealers. I'm not saying mages aren't good. I just haven't had the greatest luck. So, but overall, she's a good mage. If you want to use her, you'll you'll be happy with it. I've made her. She's really good as well. Her ult her ultimate gives you kind of like a little like a vulnerability shield or whatever. Um, really good paladin, but when she came out, I kind of stopped using her and using her instead because she provides a little bit more utility, heals, and all that good stuff. But she's still a good paladin, um, for sure. Definitely make her if you like. This guy, I like very much. He's a really, really good dual wielder, does great damage. Overall output is great. Uh, I've had many great battles with him on my team, helping out, fighting enemies I couldn't pass as well as along with everybody else. So he's also a great one you should look into as well. And I'm going to get everybody to level 100. But that's just what I'm thinking about so far as far as what you should be making. Um, they're, they're very, 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 very good if you want to actually make those heroes. I highly recommend you making them. They're, they're quite strong. <coughs> She's pretty good as well. Um, I've been kind of using her kind of back and forth for free does pretty good damage. I'm still wanting to adapt and bring more um, investments to her to see how much more damage she can do down the line. But she's a pretty decent person to actually build and go with. You want to build everybody. Um, I've put her in a couple of battles and taken her out back and forth. She's 27 levels default, so I did put some time into her. But um, yeah, she's she's definitely quite good. Um, she's good. Another archer. I enjoy using her quite a bit as well. So same thing. I mean, you just have to make your time and figure out which archer you want to use, but she's very good. Um, super, 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 super strong healer. Very insane. The only person who actually brings all the characters back, including herself when she dies. So she's mainly just used for that purpose. Um, always recommend using her. She's overall just extremely good. He's busted. I've done a video about most of these characters as well. So if you want to go back and look at those videos, you can. But he's busted. He's insanely good. I'm going to start putting a lot more resources to him and get him a lot stronger. So definitely recommend you making him. He's very strong. Uh, really good rogue. <clears throat> I don't use him as much because of Old Faithful. So I don't really have much to say about him. But he's good. Uh, paladin wise he's very good as well he's really good for your mage lineup so mages will favor him very very much so he's he's overall a great paladin as well um, if you like mages he's going to be your best friend overall i would use the other paladin that i've been sticking to mostly she's just she's just that good <clears throat> um he's okay uh, not a bad archer but there's just other archers that are better so if you like him good I don't really particularly use him that much. <clears throat> He's a really great rogue. I would go with him. But again, I have my rogue that I use. But he 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 does great work. I've had some really good battles with him to where I didn't really have too much issues. <clears throat> I didn't really use her that much. Like on like my men men teams, like when I go have a couple of heroes to choose from. I use her mainly like in group battles. So she's a pretty good mage. You'll probably be like her. Um, my one healer basically trumps the rest, so I don't really have much to say about her. Um, she is good, but meta is just, it's just too broken to not want to use. Um, I don't really use encanters that much. He's pretty decent. You might like using him. Now, she's actually quite good, actually. This is a really good warrior. I did a video about her a while ago. For one of my uh, people, I think who subscribe to me is wanting to know a little bit about her, how I wanted to see my points on her. She's quite good. 
just just saying so i would probably build her as well as far as your warrior goes she puts in a lot of work she stays alive she's all about trying to get things done not dying um you see her specialized content is pvp for a reason so she's good builder uh, again i don't really use other priests except for meta so i don't really have much to say about her uh by she's broken um she's the next rogue i would invest and get to level 100 uh she stuns she does great damage um she helps so much getting the um the fourth strike impact heroes a lot of people used her after i displayed her abilities and how i felt about her and what she can do so uh overall she's stupid strong in my opinion she should be the second rogue you should be putting your time into which i'm going to be doing as well <clears throat> um <clears throat> Again, I don't have much to say about healers because meta kind of trumps the rest. So <clears throat> I'm quite sure all the other healers are good. But meta is just, it's just outrageous. <clears throat> She's a really good rogue as well. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I know that's disgusting. She's a really good rogue as well. I highly recommend you building her <clears throat> as well. Um, I've used her a little bit. She never disappointed. Really great paladin as well. But again, like it's hard for me to break down so many of these heroes because I've used specific ones. I've used them all. And they're good in their own ways. You just have to figure out the team that you want. Really great archer does stupid amounts of damage, actually. Um, I really enjoy breaking him down. I have all these guys broken down in videos too, most of them, so you can get like my honest true opinion on it. I'm just gonna make this video too long of what heroes you should start making and then eventually make them all and play with them. So this is kind of like a biased video, kind of. But I do have most of these guys broken down. So you can go check that out if you really want to get more opinions on it. Artemis is really good. I enjoy using her. She provides a lot of utility to the team. If you want to have an archer like that, you will not be dis disappointed if you play with her. Lilith is also good as well, does great damage. Um, again, I don't really invest in too much in mages, but she's definitely one you want by your side on your team. She's very good as well. That's the mage I kind of use the most out of all the rest. Um, she does great, just great damage in arena. Like your arena characters is going to be some of the best ones because they just hit so hard and it does a lot of damage. Not really good for like adventure content, but overall, um, she's definitely very, very good. <clears throat> Priest, again. He's good, but I use my, I have my others. Warrior, he's very good. <clears throat> I definitely enjoy him as well. You know, the rest kind of falls in the same category. You know, I didn't invest in too much time into her because I don't really play Encanters. Um, same here with Encanters. Mages, didn't really put too much time into her. Eos is really good, though. This one is actually an insanely good mage. I did a video about her. Um, she's she's quite powerful. So if you want one like that, definitely invest time into her. And obviously the best encounter of all is Katarina. I, I don't even have to really say too much about her. She's just retardedly broken. So, And then you also have your last priest, which is pretty good as well. So the ones I mentioned, you should go ahead and make. But other than that, um, just invest in all of your team. Try to see the builds that you want and go for it. Because this is my opinion, but I've used most of these guys and the ones I invested in are the ones that put in the most work. So, I mean, that's just it when it comes to that, to be honest. Make sure you're saving up all your rubies. Make sure you're getting on every day because there's a lot of good stuff coming to Dragon Blaze, guys. Don't miss out. And I'm going to put out another video as well, you know, doing the four strikes and just making them all and talking about them as well. So that one's coming probably tomorrow, actually, so I can kind of crank out a video on my birthday, too. But... Thank you guys for coming by my channel, subscribing, liking my content. I'm going to put more content out as soon as possible. There just isn't too much to talk about. So if you want anything specific, let me know at the bottom until my boy gives me more information. And I will keep updating you guys on more content coming out. So until next time, I will see you for the next one.